Well, we are now less than two weeks until the general election. One of the key races in Wisconsin is that open Senate race. It continues to spend millions of dollars on top of millions of dollars. And Fox 11's Bill Miston joins us now with more. Bill, on the numbers we have and some of the numbers we're still waiting for. That's right, Tom. Today was the deadline for the campaigns to file their final finance reports with the Federal Election Commission. And just minutes ago, Republican Tommy Thompson's campaign released the numbers it filed with the FEC. A Thompson, a Thompson campaign spokesman says the campaign raised $1.6 million during the period from October 1st through the 17th, bringing in $6.4 million for the entire race. The campaign says it has $1.3 million in cash for the campaign. The Thompson campaign spokesman did not say how much money the campaign has spent in recent weeks, but according to filings with the FEC, the campaign spent more than $3.7 million through September. Now, Democratic opponent Tammy Baldwin's campaign did not release its figures yet. Its fi last filings for September show the campaign r raised more than $11 million. It spent more than $8.5 million and has nearly $3.5 million in cash. And political experts expect the latest campaign filing filings will show even more money flowing into the already tight race. In order to maintain the momentum for both sides, you're going to see them trying to dump as much money on the airwaves uh, and on the ground to try to make sure that turnout is high and they convince the last remaining undecided voters uh, to vote in their favor. And getting that help to convince those undecided voters is also coming from out of the state. The Center for Responsive Politics, a self-proclaimed nonpartisan political tracking group, puts the total for spending on both campaigns at a little more than $27.5 million.